Apple just released the first public beta of iOS 16, iPad OS 16, and Mac OS Ventura. And there's a lot of features, too much to cover in this short video, but one of the coolest features across all of those platforms is the ability to edit and delete SIP messages in the iMessages app. I'm Jason Cipriani, and in this ZDNet how-to, I'm going to show you exactly how to do just that. All right, so as I said, Apple just released the public beta. It's the first version. Anyone with a compatible device can sign up and take part and get a sneak peek of the new features or an early preview and help Apple test all of the new stuff that will be released later this fall. I don't recommend you do it on a daily device such as your main iPhone. If you have a spare iPhone taking up space in, the, in a spare drawer or whatever, it's fun to play with, it's fun to mess around. Go ahead and load it up on that. If you take the plunge, be ready to deal with some bugs as Apple continues to iron out the finalized version of iOS 16 and all the other platforms. All right, so like I said, there's a ton of new features coming, but I think one of the most popular or at least the coolest features is the ability to edit or undo, send, or delete messages that you've sent in iMessage conversations, whether it's uh, with an individual person or in a group conversation. And the process is actually really easy. This is one of those finally features in iMessage. So I'm really glad it's here. All right, I'm gonna walk you through how to edit a message that you've sent. And keep in mind now you have a 15 minute window from the time you hit send until that message cannot be deleted or edited. That's a safety feature so people don't take screenshots of messages that they've edited in the middle of the night or after you've already responded and have a conversation to make it look like you were saying something that you really weren't. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do this on an iPhone 13 Pro Max. I'm going to send myself a message, and let's just say I put that, okay? I'll send it, it goes through. Now, what I can do to edit this message is long press on the message itself, and then I'll go down to edit after the menu pops up a text field with an X as well as a check mark over here will show up. And then I could edit uh, the message to say whatever I want. And then tap on the blue check mark. You'll notice there is now an edited label that goes under the message. And if this conversation was with someone other than myself, they would actually see that on their end as well, uh, not just on the sent message that I have here. If I long press on it again, there is an undo send option I can tap, and then it disappears with a fancy animation. And it's really that easy. And again, you have 15 minutes to do this. That's a safety feature. There isn't an edit log or edit history, so you can't go back and see what the message originally said. The only way that happens is if you send a message to someone who is on an older iPhone or an iPhone that's not upgraded to iOS 16 yet, the original message does go through. And then when you edit it, it actually sends a new message that says edited message or something to that effect with the new text that you have then corrected. And I think we've all been there making it plenty of typos or even sending a message to the wrong person in the wrong thread and you need to delete it really quick. Once again, I'm Jason Cipriani. Thanks for watching this ZDNet how-to video. Make sure to check out ZDNet.com for more how-to tips just like this one, as well as all the latest tech news.